It's Seawell back here to another banger, and today I'm joined by my bro Mike. What's going on, everybody? And today we're going to be reacting to NASCAR flips from the 1970s. So, for those that uh, don't watch the NAS Boys podcast channel, y'all need to go subscribe right now. The link will be in the description below. We actually just reacted to flips from the 60s, but for my channel, we're going to be reacting to some from the 70s. So, are you excited for this video, and is there any you expect to be on here? I am very excited, and um, there are a couple I'm expecting to be on here. Maybe Richard Petty. Yep. Uh, I'm pretty sure I might have seen some of these, like I said, in the Naz Boys video, which if you don't watch Naz Boys, what are you doing? Go I know, subscribe. right? subscribe. Best up-and-coming podcast in the game. But anyways, um, I'm pretty sure that there's going to be some that I've seen from these but there might be some that I haven't seen, so I'm ready to watch this video. Fact show. I have to agree with you. I think Richard Petty's is definitely going on here because it's one of the most famous flips in NASCAR history. But enough of the talk. Let's go ahead and get started. Ron Keselowski. Hmm. Oh, this was the, the one of the last Brad races. Ron Keselowski's uncle? He, I think so. Oh, we got so. the Superbirds. Yep, this is the last... If I'm correct, the last uh, race that they ran those at Daytona. Oh, that was just a casual flip. I mean, yeah, I was expected to be at number 10. Number 9. AJ Foyt. Mm. Is this the one where you flip 10 to turn 1? I think so. I might recognize this flip. Let's see it. Oh, I posted oh. this one before. Yeah. You just couldn't really see it. Walter Ballard in the 1972 Daytona 500. I don't recognize his name. Yeah, I've never heard of him. Oh. oh there he goes. Why do these have been very casual, unlike the 60 ones? Oh, well, still flipping. Well, that one was in the intro. So. He's doing a little bit of a dance in yeah. the air. And he's out of the vehicle. Unheard from what it seems like. Hmm. Very impressive. He's like Ricky Bobby running. I'm running for yeah, the car. I was going to say that, but I didn't know if it was like a touchy joke. <laughs> it shouldn't be. That's one of my favorite scenes from that movie. Yeah. If people get offended by that joke, then they're soft, so. Yeah, very, you're very soft. If you get offended by that joke, get off this channel now. <laughs> I mean, yeah, watching this again, it's somewhat casual besides the rollover at the end. It reminds me of, like, Ryan Newman's, one of Newman's flips, where he just flipped and pirouetted a couple times after yeah. he had already been upside down. Yeah, in the Daytona 500 in like the early 2000s, I think I recall that when he was driving the 12. Yeah. Oh, uh, there's Buddy Baker. You know, it's crazy. It's the day of this recording. Today's was his uh, birthday. So. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Cool. Oh, Dale Earnhardt. This was his first flip, I think. There's no video of it. I think I read up that he was a uh, car like hit the wall and came down the track and you know he Ooh. flipped like six times. I like this. I think I've seen these pictures before because this was also in a top ten. Yes, it was. Wow! Wow! Yeah, the windshield got knocked out of it. Number six. Oh, this was the uh, 1970 Motor Trend 500. One of my favorite races I've watched on YouTube. Oh, what a drift that was. And he spun it. Kept it off the wall. Nice save. There's Richard Petty. In the uh, 
super bird. Very impressive. I love that car. Oh, watch out, spectators. Same guy. Oh, man. Oh, oh my God. Oh, my. He's, wow. He flipped at least 15, 16 times. Facts. Number five, Dick Brooks. Oh, yeah, Brooks. this one. I've seen this one in a NASCAR book that I have. Hey, I think that's Bobby Allison going for the lead there. And uh, the fans pointed. Oh, wow. Wow. Yes. And, yeah, a bunch of torn sheet metal. Look at the pace I think the part. This one was worse, though. Yeah. Mm. The last one was worse than this one, but reminds me of like some of uh how, like some of the wrecks in the '90s uh, flips sort of look like that. Like Darren Waltrip sort of looked like that, but um, uh, Davy Allison sort of looked like that, even though he didn't go as high as Allison. But man, look at the roof. Wow! Oh my! All the dirt on the car. Hmm. Oh, yeah, this is Bobby Allison one we saw in the intro. And Rockingham was is such a good track. It is. Oh. Yep. Mm. Yeah, it went flipping multiple times down the back stretch. That car's smoking a lot. As as Phil Swift would Phil Swift would say, that's a lot of damage. <laughs> and you see the skeleton of the car. Oh, we got slow mo of it. Oh, he got hit again when he was wow. upside down. Yeah, he's about to go over and then just back. And and he, I don't think he had any injuries. Farmer and Mock. Is this Arca race? Bush series? I don't know. That's a cool view of that them going by. Oh, oh there we go. Oh man, both of them flipped. Oh, 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 and he went out of the track. Oh my god. Wow, he almost hit the people sitting there. That card looks bad. I almost hit the rescue trees in turn one. That's what I was meant to say. There gets a tire. Sheesh. Oh man, that car's. Ugh. That car is destroyed. Yep. Hopefully, I don't even know if they got injured or not, so hopefully they were okay. Oh, yeah, Maynard Toyers. This one is definitely famous. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Yep. Oh, oh. Ooh, number one has to be Richard Petty. If it's not, we're rioting. Yeah. And this one definitely I expect to be on the list. I've seen this one before. It's crazy you survived. Oh, that, that was really, really bad. So, it's crazy you survived that. You know, the roof was caved in on him, and he flipped like 15 times. Yeah. Mm. I, was, I was thinking that there was a wreck from a Talladega race. I want to say like 74 or 75 that had like 20 cars in it that had no video. I thought that would probably be on oh, this wow. list, but I don't think anyone flipped in that wreck, so it's not on here. Huh. And I didn't... Well, they, they brought out the stretcher immediately. There's pit stops. Of course. Oh, there's a Wayne car. It looks like... That looked like Bobby Allison's. There's uh, Bobby Isaac. Here's a replay of it. He maybe got tapped, but it's hard to tell. I think he did get tapped, because, yeah, he definitely got tapped. You know that song? Rolling, rolling, rolling. 
Yes, I do. By Limp Bizkit. Yep. I love that song. And he's way up in the air, too. Yeah, that's... I don't think I've even ever seen a car get that high up in the air like that. Wow. Uh, I think Rusty Wallace's was probably one of the highest ones that he got up. Oh, but. yeah. I don't mind that. That was stupid. But it's a good observation because he was really high in the air. I know, but I forgot about the Rusty Wallace one. Yeah, this one's the one we expected to be on here. Yeah, that was a cool shot of Richard Petty. Yep, it was. Before that is mustache. Wow. I wish they had more onboards from the 70s. Oh, wait, I don't think that's Richard Petty. Hold on. Oh. It's, it's, it's such a brutal wreck, too, you know? Everyone thought he was dead. It embarrassing moments on the podcast you were you were so mad at me for this because i said he lifted his arms out of the air to like tell people he was all right because i thought i read that in an article or whatever yeah. and you got so mad at me uh for those who haven't seen that clip here it is he hit the inside wall and flipped over barrel rolling actually a few times and uh, this wreck was most known for him sticking his arms out the window to show the officials that he was okay. What did he say? Uh, this is what invented the window net Offering? and what made them signal the, to the officials that they are okay by dropping it. Uh, I don't think he was signaling he was okay. He actually broke his shoulder. Brother. Maurice, or I want to say brother or cousin, I don't know why I said brother, but cousin Maurice was there to try to help him in. I don't know why they, they were set off the extinguishers, because there was no fire. I remember Maurice got mad about it, because he literally would, he was just making them choke, so. Huh. Well, that pretty much does it for the video. Uh, hope y'all enjoyed this. And as we kind of mentioned, there's some that we expected or we have seen before that were on this list. Uh, do you agree with this list mostly? I do agree with it. I would have moved the one, I think it was at Riverside, up a little bit more. But yeah. other than that, the list was pretty good. Yeah, that Buddy Young one was really bad. I think it, I have to agree with you on that. But other than that, I think the list is pretty accurate. So, yeah, um, thank y'all for watching. Uh, really appreciate it. If you haven't yet, go subscribe. I'm on the road to 500 subscribers, and to make sure, and also make sure to sub to our podcast and As Boys Podcast. Go follow our, our socials down below. And if you haven't yet, also like the video. It helps out with the algorithm. Really appreciate it. Thank y'all so much for your support. And